So I wanted to do something that gave, um, was still sort of autobiographical, but also had more something of the, the, the strange texture of a modern cleric's life today. Those of you who know the TV series Rev, which I was involved with on BBC Two will, will remember that. I think they did it quite well, just gave you a sense that on the one hand you're trying to inhabit this traditional role, on the other hand you're dealing with the reality of people's lives, which are kind of complex and in lots of ways would seem quite far from it. And what I rather like is the collision sometimes in that. Um, and trying to find at the end of it the essential truth, which is that people still want what they've always wanted, which is to be to feel that they're, they're important and valued and loved and have a place in the world. You know. What I wanted to do was to do something that reflected the patchwork experience of, of, of wandering around being a priest actually, where you, do, you have sort of set pieces if you like, services, particular sorts of encounters, but a lot of it is just stuff you pick up on the hoof, people who you sit next to, people who you pass on the street, and just trying to capture some of those sometimes quite vivid and, and I hope sometimes surprising moments and encounters well, was, part of the, was part of the idea. The starting point for was a, as a conversation I had with Tom Hollander who came to carol service at, at the church, in fact at St Paul's Knightsbridge. And then when uh, things got moving on that he would come sometimes and just ask questions about uh, how would this work, how would that work. And then we talked a little bit about storylines and then he came up to see me in in Finden and spent a couple of days just seeing me at work and how I did things. He's, and it's interesting seeing yourself played back, as it were, by an actor. The stuff that you think you told them and the stuff that you didn't realise you told them. That was the interesting thing. Mm -hmm.